What is happening, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to KMRD Radio Stuff. Today, I want to talk about Messi and Poloni coaxial cable versus LMR. There seems to be some confusion. Some armchair quarterbacks are getting in the mix and trying to rile things up with their false information. So before we move any forward, I want to just do a quick little, let's call it an IQ test. So should be pretty easy for most of us. What number is bigger? One or two? Give you a second to think about it. You got your answer locked in? Okay. Now, which one of these is different? One of these doesn't belong. Which one of these is different? You got it? Okay, lock it in. All right, last one. This one's going to be a doozy here. Which cable is thicker? The one on my left or the one on my right? Okay, which one of these is thicker? or bigger okay got it all right now for most of us that should be a pretty easy uh test some however can't seem to wrap their head around these things so i want to talk about the specifications of some of the messy and poloni coaxial cables versus some of the lmr cables because a couple armchair quarterback experts have been commenting and just making blanket statements, which is fine. They're making themselves look really stupid in public, which congratulations, I do that every day. But I do research before I post something, okay? Usually if I'm gonna make something, if I'm gonna make a statement or I'm gonna make a video, I don't just do it willy-nilly. I do the research and I can back up my claims with facts and numbers and statistics and links and data, okay? So usually when I'm talking, I know I'm right. I know that sounds arrogant, but that is the way it is, okay? So I wanna point out a couple comments that I've gotten over the last uh, couple few weeks uh, in regards to the videos that I've made on Messi and Poloni Coax. So let's take a look. This guy calls himself the extra amateur, okay? We'll We'll just go with that. He says, did you notice that the loss at 144 megahertz is four times what LMR 600 is? He's referring to, I did a video installing Messi and Poloni coax at my house and I'm using Hyperflex 10 and Ultraflex 7 Sahara. So he's comparing my Hyperflex 10 to LMR 600. And I give a lengthy uh, response, citing resources and everything. And I've never heard back from the guy, so maybe he learned. Uh, But I say that your data's wrong. You're comparing M&P's data, which is rated in meters, to LMR's data, which is rated in feet. So we couldn't even get that right, and I left links, and we'll take we'll take a look at that in a, in a minute. The second guy, called Dimitri One and Only Pat, so are you Dimitri or are you Pat? Because you can't be both if you're one and only. I know, semantics, right? He says, <laughs> this one got me. <laughs> LMR 400 has less loss than the Italian stuff. Just blanket statement. If it's Italian, it's got more loss than LMR 400. For VHF, UHF, over 50 feet, LMR 600 is even better. This message has less words than your video has minutes. You are welcome. So I tell him he's wrong. Check your facts, blah, blah, blah. He says the numbers are right. Uh, from the, right, the numbers are right there from the Gigaparts link uh, on my page for the Hyperfle- Hyperflex 5. And this is what really gets me. LMR 400 has a loss of 0.9 dB at 100 feet at 50 megahertz. And Hyperflex 5 has a loss of 1.5. Now, to be fair, in my video, I am showing the differences in losses between Hyperflex 5, RG8X, and RG213, just so people can see what that actually looks like in real wattage numbers versus dB. At no point in my video do I ever suggest that Hyperflex 5 has less losses at any frequency than LMR 400. You're comparing a coax that's this thin to a coax that's almost a half an inch thick. Now this is RG213, but it's approximately the same size as LMR 400. Why would you even do that? And then to make the blanket statement that LMR 400 has less loss than the Italian stuff. <laughs> I commented to this and told him to keep coming and, and we'll, we'll see how the conversation progresses. But this is the comment that I woke up to this morning. So that's kind of what has inspired me. So anyway, 
so let's hop over to the link now that he's citing from the Gigaparts page, which is directly linked from my YouTube video, and I will leave links to all of these in the description of this video. But he's specifically talking, so uh, he's comparing Hyperflex 5, which is this thin cable, to LMR 400. Well, you can't do that. Do you know what the term comparing apples to apples means? That's what this test was all about right here, okay? You're not comparing apples to apples. One is beer, one is Coca-Cola. Not the same thing. Do you understand that? So, here are the here is the link. This is from Gigaparts. You can go to gigaparts.com, click on any Messi and Poloni cable, and you will find this uh, comparison chart. So on the right, we have Messi and Poloni. On the left, we have LMR. The comparable coaxial cable to Hyperflex 5 would be LMR 240, okay? In which case, at 50 megahertz, you can see has a loss of 2.1 dB. Again, which number is higher, two or one? We're looking for the lower number being better. I guess I should clarify that. The closer to zero, the better the cable, okay? But we can take a look at every single frequency. Messi and Poloni is lower than the LMR brand. So Messi and Poloni, 1.7 dB at 50 megahertz for Hyperflex 5. Now he's comparing it to LMR 400, which is not the same comparison. That's like comparing a stick to Hyperflex 5. Well, obviously the stick is gonna have a lot more loss because it's a piece of wood. Now, when we compare Messi and Poloni Hyperflex 10, to its comparable version in LMR, which would be the 400 Ultraflex or UF. These are both stranded core coax. Again, we can see the differences at 50 megahertz were 0.82 dB a loss versus 1.1 dB of loss at 50 megahertz for the LMR 400 Ultraflex. Now at 144 megahertz were 1.45 dB versus 1.8 dB at 150 megahertz for the LMR. And at 430 megahertz were 2.62 dB versus 3.3 at 450. When we look at 1000 megahertz, the M&P Hyperflex 10 beats out the LMR 400 Ultraflex that's comparing it at 900 megahertz from 4.11 dB to 4.7 dB. So now let's look at the direct comparison from Messi and Poloni to LMR 400, which is in fact Messi and Poloni's Airborne 10 compared to LMR 400. These are both solid core coaxial cables. And when we look at the charts, 50 megahertz, 0.75 dB of loss versus 0.9 dB of loss at 144 megahertz, 1.28 versus 1.5. At 430, we're 2.32 versus 2.7 at 450 megahertz, but I wanna go one step further. I wanna look at the actual manufacturer's webpage. So here is directly from Messi and Poloni, their Airborne 10 specifications, and again, we can see 50 megahertz, 0 0.07, and here is Times Microwaves LMR 400, not the Ultraflex, we're comparing apples to apples, solid core to solid core. So let's scroll down here, 50 megahertz, 0.9 dB, okay? Again, 0.7 at 50 megahertz on the Airborne 10. At 144 megahertz, we're 1.2 dB of loss with the Airborne 10. And at 150 megahertz, we're 1.5 dB of loss. So tell me again exactly how LMR 400 is better than Messi and Poloni. Now, we've also had some comparisons to LMR 600. Now, Messi and Poloni doesn't make a direct comparable coax to LMR 600. They do make a comparable coax to the LMR 600 Ultraflex, which is the Hyperflex 13. So we can't compare LMR 600 to anything that Messi and Poloni makes because they don't make it. Now, for stranded core LMR 600 versus Hyperflex 13, we can see 50 megahertz, we have 0.61 dB loss versus 0.7 with LMR. At 144, we're pretty much even. At, uh, at 200 megahertz, we're 1.3 versus 1.4. At 430, we're 1.95 versus two. Uh, and we pretty much have LMR uh, 600 being beat by the Hyperflex 13 until we get to 4,000 megahertz 
where the Hyperflex 13 starts to lose out a little bit. We've got 6.84 dB versus 6.8 dB, so a 0 0.04 dB difference there. At 6,000 megahertz, we're 8.75 dB versus 8.7, so 0.5 dB there. And at 8,000 megahertz, we're 10.54 dB versus 10.3 dB with the LMR 600 Ultraflex. So in that regard, the LMR 600 Ultraflex slightly squeaks out ahead of the Hyperflex 13. Now let's tackle the extra amateurs question in that did I notice that the loss at 144 megahertz is four times what LMR 600 is? And I go on to explain to him that you're comparing MNP's data, which is rated in meters, to LMR, which is rated in feet. You're, you're getting that mixed up. But we're also, again, not comparing apples to apples. But since I'm a nice guy, let's go ahead and clarify this too. So here we are back at the Messi and Poloni Hyperflex 10 Sahara, and we're gonna pick on 144 megahertz because that's where he's calling me out. So at 144 megahertz, my Hyperflex 10 Sahara has 1.4 dB of loss, okay? 1.4 dB. Now let's compare that to straight up uh, its most comparable thing, LMR 400 Ultraflex, okay? We're, we're gonna get to the 600 in a minute, but 1.4 dB. At 150 megahertz, the direct comparison to Hyperflex 10 in the LMR version is 1.8 dB of loss. That would be more loss, okay? Let's go farther. Let's compare it to regular LMR 400 at 150 dB or 1.5 dB of loss. So at 144 with the Hyperflex 10, which is a stranded core coax, LMR 400 is solid. We're only 0.1 dB difference between 144 megahertz with the Hyperflex 10 and 150 megahertz with the LMR 400, okay? Now let's go to LMR 600 Ultraflex and let's look at 144 megahertz. Now we're 1.2 dB at 150 megahertz versus 1.4 with the Hyperflex 10, okay? So we are getting better, but that's to be expected. It's a bigger coaxial cable, makes sense, and again, the real competition to this would be the Hyperflex 13, which we saw earlier already beats out the LMR 600 Ultraflex, okay? The only one that doesn't have a comparable coax in Messi and Poloni is the LMR 600 solid core coax, in which that does technically beat out everything. At 150 megahertz, you are 1.0 dB loss at uh, 100 feet of coax. So their LMR finally starts to beat out Messi and Poloni. However, if Messi and Poloni made a solid core comparable cable to the LMR 600, I am confident that it would beat that out too. So anyway, <laughs> again, sorry if this video sounds a bit spiteful and a little off-putting from my normal demeanor, but you know, this is, this is what we get to deal with sometimes as people who put ourselves in the public eye and we get a lot of these comments from these armchair experts who, who uh, just like to put themselves out there and they, they just feel the need to add their two cents and, and, and make themselves look better. The unfortunate thing is that a lot of hams are not well adept to change. I've been a ham for six years now. I'm an extra, I'm a VE, I'm as high as you can get. I live, sleep, breathe, eat work uh, ham radio. Everything I do is ham radio. So uh, it, it's, it's unfortunate to see these kinds of people who have difficulties adapting to change. You might have been using LMR 400 for, for your whole life. You can't just make a blanket statement saying that LMR 400 is better than the Italian stuff. Back up, if you're gonna comment, and I welcome your comment, back up your claims with sources for your information. Otherwise, all you're going to do, and I'm totally fine with this, is make yourself look like an idiot. I am doing the research, okay? That's what I do before I make these videos. I go online, I look at the stats, I do real world testing before I make any videos because I actually wanna know what I'm talking about before I make a presentation and present it to the world, okay? I've got a lot of people watching me and it's my duty it's my job to make sure that I am delivering you to the best of my abilities, the 
proper information, okay? So I try to give credibility to everything I say, okay? I'm not just doing this for my health. I'm doing this for my love of amateur radio, for my love of science, and for my passion to share what I'm learning with the rest of the world because I love this hobby so much. But these things need to be done. You gotta put people in, your, in their place sometimes, okay? Just needs to be done. Anyway, <laughs> if you find this kind of information useful, do me a solid, hit the subscribe button, leave comments down below whether you think I'm right or wrong, whatever whatever you got, I don't care, leave them. Makes, makes the YouTube algorithm happy. Uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at K8MRD, and just have fun playing ham radio. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again on another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.